Hello everyone, today I will talk about GitLab CI-CD configuration for Monero from centralized repository. Let me show the repositories in the browser which we will use, then I will switch to the topology to show how all flow works. I will show prod application and their configuration which will be migrated to another repo to test our flow. So right now I am opening repositories and it's the main prod microservices repositories with the structure, with the code files which is located here and it is looking for the CI-CD YAML file from centralized repository with the name with the name, let me show GitLab CI microservices YAML file which is located in the same group inside of repository CI-CD and it is CI-CD repository which is located all YAML files uh, for use our uh, repositories. I mean, all repositories will go find CI/CD YAML files inside of these repositories. And actually, if we, I will click it, we will see all microservices in the microservices prod application folder will look find for each of them configurations inside of this YAML files, which is included to the main CI YAML file. But we must understand and see how we will generate if developer will create new microservice folder and how it works. I, of course, I will show it uh, in topology file too. It's pipeline creator repository. Of course, it's going to look inside of this repository too. I mean, if I will open settings and CI/CD general pipelines, we will see it's going to find GitLab CI scheduler in the same group here, which both of them is located, and in this in the repository CI/CD. If I will open scheduler file, we will see its whole flow, which will prepare for us any change or if some new developer will create new microservice. All this flow will will create new pipeline and automatically will include to the let me show you to the will include to the GitLab CI microservices file. So I mean if developer will create new microservice folders and prepare something inside of them, of course new file will be generated automatically from GitLab CI scheduler uh, trigger and included inside of this uh, main template file. But how it works, I will show you. To prepare all this stuff, I have created scheduler, which will work each one hour. Less than configure schedules, oh, sorry, not uh, here. It is under pipeline creator. Actually, it is CI/CD template pass for all of the files, all files is, all repositories going to get main YAML files inside of this repository, but pipeline can generate is this repository and we can find schedules here which will be executed each one hour but of course we can execute it via API too we have a lot of ways inside of GitLab API right now I'm trying to show topology so as we understand GitLab scheduler with the Git repo pipeline generator will be executed each one hour. It will go to clone microservices repository inside of the workspace. At the same time clone Git repo CI CD inside of the workspace, but analyze each of them for the naming convention which we have discussed with developers together. The microservices names will be started with the name MS, BFF. ADP and at the same time config to well, let me show the code files which I mean not this yeah this one it is pipeline template file uh, I will discuss about this but firstly let me explain this one so as we see when repo will be cloned and analyzed, it will go to find folders with the name MS, ADP, BFF, and config. And that, then it will go to create uh, first lines with include local and shared YAML pass. Actually, it is YAML files where it's located inside of main folder in the CI CD repository. And then 
include main template file where all templates located but it is template structure for all of the microservices which will be created of course you can create all the structure as you wish include all your tests or lint test anything it doesn't matter actually the main point is this generator will go through for each of the folder create include create new yaml file and include inside of main microservices file but it will change uh, all places where located template name ms name to the microservice name so as as we see from the name we can understand it will create model name ms name it's you it cannot be changed uh, like as main template file for another place where located this file i'm in ci main template file let me show this one ci main template file here it is located sorry it is located in here so as we see it brings us templates where we can exclude and extend our job to use it. Of course, we can say it could be possible to use templates for... Let me find it... To use templates here too, but unfortunately from official page of the GitLab, even you can read it from here, I cannot find place really we can use value like as variable of the change key. That's why I have defined for the main pipeline template like as uh, static, we can say, of course. But it's going to be triggered for the develop branch at the same time with the name. We can catch it for the events push and merge request. The same for the prod if inside of master branch it will be happened. Whole flow for the prepare jar file and push this. Uh, prepare docker file push to remote repository and uh, deploy in prod environment or deploy in develop environment it doesn't matter as, as I said before the main part is going to be done from this generator script file so what I will do right now right now we don't need anymore this generator script and codes which I showed before we need right now prepare all flow. I will not do this in prod environment, that's why I will create a new repository with mono repo name. But right now, as we see, it's not found. I will execute my code file to create this. But let me show you firstly what we need for this. We need to migrate all environment variables or all CI CD configuration file paths with fetch configuration and the sage keys from API to migrate it to the new repo with the name monorepo. I mean, if we will go to the settings and CI CD, we will see, as I showed before, we have configuration for the YAML file from where we will get configuration of the deployment, a fetch count, timeout count, variables, which I will show you right now. As we see, we need environment based variables, and at the same time, we need a search key with the right write permission, I mean push permission to our new repository. I mean both of them must be migrated to the new repository too. So I will go execute the script and press pause button because it will take some time. A lot of code files present in main repository, prod repository, I mean so it is the end of the clone as we see it's created another repo and pushed all new change to another repo so we have if i will refresh the page so it is here we can see right now i need to change all configuration which must be yeah exist here of course it's configured and variables it's present here at the same time I must see, of course it will work, but just double check, because if cable not present, my code files couldn't clone them, yeah, of course, it's pushed right now. So as we see inside of repository, we have right now master branch, which is created from code files, and 
it is triggered because inside of template files which I showed before in the, in the YAMLs, defined trigger will be happened for the master and for the develop branch. But if we will open it, really we will spend all queue time because a lot of microservices will be executed now. That's why I will cancel it. And delete it at the same time to be clear. Delete. What I will do right now, I will try to do any change inside of master branch because it will take time to create develop branch and show there. And to do any any change inside of config and see really trigger will be happened because it's included in the main microservices file. I mean microservices CHD YAML file. So it is direct coming to the master branch because we want to see really trigger will be happened. If I will go to CICD pipelines and as we see it works, I will do pause and when it will be finished I will be back. Then I will try to create new folder with the naming conversion which I have discussed before we agreed with the developers and we will see trigger. Actually, we'll, firstly we must see pipeline generator really will generate and include new file for the uh, main YAML file of the microservices repository and then uh, we will create folder and see really trigger will be happened for this folder or not. So it is finished. Actually failed is because in deployment environment doesn't present the service name but it doesn't matter because really whole job is executed for only one of the service with the name config server. I mean change key inside of YAML file this works. What I will do right now I will go to repository and create one service with the naming conversion which we discussed before. I mean it will be for example new directory MS Teller and it is created. What does it mean? It means right now we need new microservice with the name MS Teller which will be included like as shared YAMLs microservices MS Teller YAML. But if I will do Control F MS Teller right now here, it's not present because it's not created. But we will go back to as we see it is executed each one hour if I will open configuration. It means it's working each one hour and if you will open help of the GitLab repo it will say you can you cannot do less than 60 minutes. So we cannot wait 60 minutes. That's why I will do trigger from the code. Then go to look to the pipelines I will do pause and return back when it will be finished to not spend time so actually it is finished we didn't need it anymore so it is success if I will go to YAML file repositories do git pull we must get it I mean change we must get. Yeah, actually as we see MS Teller is added here and if we will go back to the repository which where it is present MS Teller, of course pipelines will not be triggered because first time when, it, when we created it's not included and at the same time folder is empty we need to create new file here Sorry, I must tell you a new file.
So as we see, trigger is happened. It will be failed because nothing exists inside of this uh, YAML file. I mean, code files inside of MSTeller folder to be work. But as we see, it works only for the MSTeller Pro. It will work only for the push MSTeller and deploy for the MSTeller. So, as we understand, the trigger will be happened for each of the folder at the same time. YAML files will be generated automatically and will be included automatically to the main YAML file uh, as I said before, like us here. So that's it actually. I hope it will be useful to all of us.